I would like to invite her sister. Gentlemen and ladies, a very, very good morning to everybody. Yes, you all know that this is the cradle of business industry. An Indian coming from India to US and talk on business, that is something like, you know, pouring a few drops of water in a vast ocean because this is where the action is happening in the last so many years. So, I always wondered why, why US is so strong technologically and the largest economy in the world. It is just maybe hardly 200 plus years old only. It's young, I would say the US is a young country compared to India, China or in Britain also. You take it any other country, it is a young country. But you being, uh, and it's a epitome of economic and technological powerhouse, that's what I would say. So, world economy is revolving around US for decades and still it is continuing. You are the number one, no doubt over. We talk about China is coming up, nothing. Still, you take the, uh, uh, I was just going to the last, uh, the, 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 the best 16 countries, I mean, the companies in the world, uh, first uh, six to seven is again uh, US only. Hmm? So, that is what your position is there. And, and only com uh, country, see, I've been wondering why, why, what could be the reason? Why maybe China is not coming, maybe India is not coming, maybe Japan is not coming. In spite of all the money what they have in Japanese, they have a lot of surplus money there. Then I thought maybe I may be wrong, maybe I may be right, but I thought maybe because it's because of the immigration policy. This is the one country which accepts people from all over the world, irrespective of caste, creed and religion. That is a wonderful thing I would say, because no other country is accepting, India is not accepting uh, uh, people like what you do it here. So that is what one reason and U.S. attracts the best brains in the world. Best brains would like to come to settle down and work in U.S. I think that is what the reason, maybe that's what I may become my conclusion is that that is what is spearheading the technological, technological advancement of the country U.S. what it is today. And it is said, the world saves money for what? To invest in dollars. The best example is the Japanese. Japanese even starve to save money and invest in US, you know, for, so that you all could, uh, you Americans simply splurge, you know, you work on, I was told that you just live on, uh, not you Malalis, and generally uh, uh, more of, uh, most of the US people will live on uh, credit card. So you do spend, but somebody else is uh, saving for you and investing here. That's a great job, I really appreciate that. And I was told that uh, every year, every year, one million students are coming to U.S. for studies. And out of it, just last week there was somebody who was consulate of uh, uh, Indian, consular uh, in uh, China. He gave it a very startling revelation. He said, six out of ten is from India. Well, that is a great thing, great thing. Said, that's what I said yesterday, if you roam by, I said, I'm expecting, maybe in 20, 30 years, we are going to get at present from Indian origin. So I think that the number is going up and up. I am sure that India is going to be a real, real number in, in this country. Coming to Indian, Indian economy, yes, India is also doing well. Our rating has gone up from 6 to 4, it has gone up. First class. Of course, we had some uh, problems in a uh, couple of years, you know that uh, maybe you may not be aware, but we would have read in the newspapers that uh, one is uh, uh, the demonetization, yes, that has affected a lot of SMEs and small scale industries was affected and thousands and thousands of industries had to close shop because of the demonetization. That was two years ago. Then, then yeah, last year uh, we rolled out, the GST was uh, rolled out and that also created some confusion in the market. But of course, you know, India is a very res resilient country, very resilient country. That is our, that's why we are surviving, you know that. So that is the reason now we are bouncing back now. India's process are good now and uh, economy is showing uh, a, a, a poor trend and uh, we expect uh, anything more than uh, uh, GDP of 7% is what we expect. And so that is a great thing that's going to happen to the country. And last month the GSC collection has crossed 100,000 crores. That was a big collection. So it, things are happening in India also. Don't uh, just don't think that only US is happening, India is also happening. Now coming to Kerala, what's the situation? Kerala, you know, see Kerala has always been, never had industry, you know, that business was not much in Kerala. It always been an agrarian economy, agriculture was the major income. Maybe some industries, you know that when you came from uh, Kerala, what industries, we didn't have much. 
maybe some industry of ct then the smt and all also all on icu now almost almost dead now nothing is happening they except maybe a couple of industries like uh, coaching refinery is doing well maybe shipyard is there that's it so there's not much of industry and entrepreneurs they we started in fact uh, um, uh, joyetan and we started the, the, the entrepreneurship in kerala we 30 years ago we started so that is the time we started putting up industries and setting up uh, business in kerala now things are happening now lot of youngsters are coming to business they are setting up uh, smes now so major issue in kerala major major issue in kerala in what the problem why industries are not why major investment is not coming is because see we don't have land land is a bigger issue as curse material where is curse raw material in kerala that is a major issue only one third of the land could be utilized in kerala two third is not so water is a half by half lakes and you know a uh, huge see um, uh, mountains are the hills are there so kerala only one third of the land can be used that's the reason all over kerala you can see that land is uh, so costly so costly unlike in tamil nadu kannada you go up 10 km maybe chicago may 25 km where you get land cheap but in kerala it is that's a major issue bigger industries are not coming but yes small industries yes it maybe um, tourism education healthcare and real estate yes there's a big scope for that so there is a lot of people are coming now and there is a potentially is there in kerala because we have a large number of uh, uh, educated and skilled labor is available in kerala that is a, the, 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 the boon in kerala and you, if you uh, uh, if, if you just check up uh, what is happening in bangalore you know that is the it capital of the, the country and 30% mind you 30% of the it professionals working in uh, bangalore are from kerala's malayalis so that is a big thing what has happened now what i suggest is that may, maybe something uh, uh, um, you should do maybe as uh, i recommend we can talk later and uh, farmer should do something to uh, uh, educate the young cap and the skilling skilling is what required because kerala what was it as i said earlier there's not much of scope for doing a large big industry is not a possible but then we, we can export human uh, resources that's what is happening all uh, last uh, maybe but two three decades has happening it it can do it well for us the coming for uh, coming to the real estate industry which i am uh, representing it is said real estate is the mother of all industry without real estate you don't have anything you, this is a real estate hotel hotel hospital factory you have to have a real estate we thought we don't so that is one thing going to stay people have been talking i'm one of the seminars in uh, a uh, couple of months or uh, maybe last year uh, we had a um, seminar in uh, uh, bangalore i'm um, sorry cochin where uh, it team i'm uh, uh, chairman and the ceo came and had a talk he was talking about well oh, this you know it's coming ai is coming artificial intelligence is coming going to come it is going to take over and our and our work you know what do you do the factory is going to be uh, monitored and uh, uh, worked by uh, maybe uh, by the robots the even hospitals in doctors you might find it difficult also the, 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 the very difficult the complicated surgery is also could be done by ai so that was talking he was trying to you know it was a very scary talk he said no everything is going to be taken away said next time i was the speaker next time he said no i am not worried don't i am not worried i am from the real estate industry real estate industry is still and logathu onnu nadakkilla appo nammal kai ningalku venam jeevikanengil it ya venengil hospital factory venengil you have to have a real estate has to be there so real estate has to stay so that is the one thing what is going to happen that is what is going to gear up the industry in kerala i would come uh, come to that later so that is what it is and kerala also what happens is now there is a lot of demand for commercial and uh, residential property in kerala and in india in india la etra annu ariyo india la see nammalde deficit undalla housing deficit is 30 million 3 crores 3 crores of housing is what is required in india so that's the kind of uh, 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 you talk about uh, that's the kind of uh, uh, a shortage you talk about in indian housing so next 25 years there's going to be a huge demand is on there and indian what happens in india population is going up unlike china and japan is population is coming down so negative growth so india next 25 years is net 3 crores kayum adu ammulike net 25 ay poi pinnu 2 2 million 20 million vera veru so next 50 years i can guarantee you there you invest in real estate that is going to give you money so that is what i would suggest that you should look at the investment in real estate and seriously coming back to the skyline see we been there industry for the last 3 decades we been there 
the last 30 years we've been in industry there as i told you last week uh, i came 25 years ago first visit was in 25 years ago when i came to uh, us first time so uh, in this last 30 years we have uh, um, um, completed an ongoing for 142 projects we have uh, working on that we completed 120 a uh, three or so then the uh, rest of the project are going on now another 20 projects coming up now and we have uh, uh, more than 7000 families we house in a beautiful home there they are comfortably settled there in our skyline homes there and we have constructed uh, uh, constructed uh, square feet uh, if you ask me that 15 million square feet that is 1.5 crores of square feet is what we have done in a small state of kerala i wouldn't say that we are bigger but then then what were possibly in, in, in the, the, the state of kerala i think last uh, uh, 10 cities we operate city we, uh, we operate from calicut to trivandrum we operating we have all over the place the calicut to chur cochin kottayam uh, uh, tiruvalla palai we have koyalon we have trivandrum we have so that that's what the our, our portfolio is and uh, with uh, and we have got clients in over where only the see the major problem in kerala that's what i want to talk about you know you've got our business see there is one thing i want unfortunately you don't have youngsters business people if you are planning to do in business what happens is our the market is very small who will come and invest in kerala only mallus only malayalis will come and invest in kerala so that is a major problem you face whereas in bangalore who are all invest in bangalore any malayali not only in malayali any indian is any indian will invest in kerala i'm sure a lot of people 30% of the investment is what made in uh, bangalore is today is from malayalis it sector malayalis are invested 30% so coming back to kerala we don't have that kind of people coming and investing so that is a big challenge that's a big challenge that's the reason i i came i started my i took my bag nan or 80 kilo aanu ningalku rendu bag irunnalla system 40 kilo ne rendu bag aayittu nan ivada karangi adanittundanu 25 varsham i had no choice I had no choice. But see, that's what business is. What about? See, when you don't have a market there back home, what do you do? You go to a market where market is there. So I realized that that point of time, 25 years ago, maybe 28 years ago, I started uh, uh, marketing our product outside Kerala. So we are going all over the world where Malayali is there. Ambati naale kandi thode. We got the clients from 54 countries. We got Malayali is invested in the skyline. so if you ask me that is my satisfaction that wherever malayali is there we are there and even you got you name it we been there all over the world we have gone i not i know just one example i'll tell you one place i when you know when where umtata i been to umtata you know when that i'm sure none of you know where umtata is there where is umtata i been to umtata to sell my product for home no where it's in africa south africa i went to south africa where small ore no 50 50 oh nammala teaching family was there teachers nalaka nattinu poya alkar avarku nam veedu vikkan poyirunnu so see what what i'm coming back is uh, in sense like uh, market is not the creator market you can say oh market love it to one loan poona it's not that the market is there to find a market that's very important then you go to where market is there or create a market that's what iphone did did what the uh, job steve job did Steve Jobs, why he is considered to be a reward as a, you know a genius even today. If you read under that, then all are like that. I have done it. Let's check on it. Steve Jobs is now. We have done it. Why? Because he is an icon. Which what has happened is, see, he created product and create a market for the product. That is a great thing. What he did. That is what I want to tell you. That when business. any business for that matter you have to find new ways and this is market we have to find see so what is happening in real estate in kerala is coming to the reality i want to come back to says in kerala you all know for that matter maybe elsewhere in the world also maybe you would have invested in us also lot of people lost money lot of people money in why because you see see you lost money means you invested and you didn't get the product on time or when the quality was not uh, proper as per what was uh, uh, um, 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 uh, told you this i'm going to get it but you didn't get it They're not as per the standard what it was you know uh, uh, promised you so main reason i would say the one of the reason i would say that yes you are to be blame 50% i would blame on you because so there is a dictum is there let the buyer beware Unfortunately, with real estate, what has happened? A lot of people. I am not sure that there are people may be sitting here also. See, invested in Kerala and lost lot of money. You know why? 
Because you didn't do your homework properly. You didn't do your homework properly. When you buy a property which is costing 40, 50 lakhs, maybe a crore or rupees, you should have been more careful. It's a hardened money. And see, maybe, maybe 80% you may be going for a loan. And just imagine if you don't get your property within that specific time. And if at all somebody is not even delivering your property. And this is one product where you pay in advance. 100% advance you are paying. And you have taken a loan of say 80 lakh rupees, maybe 30, 40, 50 lakh rupees in loan for 15 years. And if you don't get a delivery, what's going to happen? You are going to be a slave. You're going to be a slave to the bank. You'll be working next 15, 20 years to pay off to the bank. That's what is going to happen. So that's what's happening to people. So why would suggest is that if at all whenever you want to buy a property, no, I'm not talking Kerala. I, all over the world, you buy here also, wherever in the world when you buy in a property, you make you make a specific uh, specific uh, uh, checkup has to be there with who is the builder, what is his credibility, what has he done, has he got the capability to execute the project as per the uh, as the quality standard what is being promised. That's very critical, very critical. So that's what I would say that you should try to do that. In fact, uh, that is uh, the reason people uh, lost a lot of money. In fact, even today after 5 years, 8 years, 10 years, the people have not got uh, a position. Three things mantras in delivery is the season, the, the project is in Skyline, we follow is one of the quality part of us. Quality has to be the best. Because Malayali is one thing about Malayali is housing very important. in the guy and he wants the best and she wants the best. But they learn an animal one another and number my only is even the best home. Now what do you mean by quality? Quality is just not a home, it's okay, nala home good allah. See that that has got a lot of parameters. What is start with the location? Just one of the best location, that's the quality part of the quality. Location has to be good, number one. Everything should be available. Then then the design. Normally what happens is unfortunately people you don't look at the design part. Our design is very, very critical. Mudik Tabari shows and Buddha Salamande. Namka lighting and ventilation manam. And kitchen has to be proper, has to be there. All facility you comfort when you go home. It should be very comfortable. You are going to relax. I am going my home, my sweet home. That is where you know you've got to be uh, very, very careful. That is very important that the designing part of it. And we have, if you won't believe it, we have architects, 30 architects from different part of the country we are when we are employing it. India Raja the eternal architects in the Angle employer. Alan the Galatron and under the Nantamun the Tatimutian Alcarella. We always go for a different people, Madras, Bangalore, Bombay. We, we, we have, that's what we want the best of the best for you. That's what we are creating, and that's what Malayalis, they want it. I know because my clients, 90% is NRIs. I am supposed to be an NRI a specialist in the housing. So I got 90 percent NRIs. I know what you are looking at. You have seen the best of the best in the world. You have seen yours, you got the best of the best. You go to Dubai, he has got the best. So anywhere, any, any Malayali gone abroad in NRI, he has got the best and he knows what he wants and he cannot settle for a second. So that's the reason we are very, very focused on that. Yes, we, we do that. Then delivery, of course, it is very critical that whatever we have promised, you have to give down time. Otherwise, you will be losing money, as I said earlier. So that is number two. Number three is the transaction has to be transparent. Again, I coming back to yours, but this I claimed, came in only 25 years when I came. The people want very, very carefully here. You want to transaction has to be very, very uh, transparent and trustworthy. Trust is what is very important. So everything has to be legally verified. And you should not hassle, that's we always say, you, we, we, you word use it hassle free, I don't want any problem tomorrow. So that's what we are offering it. We have, uh, uh, in fact, we have um, uh, employed one person, Girishi is there, and executive is the Girishi is there, for full time to cater the US market. He is a territory manager of Skyline. Here in US we have fostered him. So we, you, you, nothing to worry about, somebody is there to take care of you. Back home, of course, we have a fantastic team is there, home care is there, home care is one thing, you know, uh, we do everything for you. We have, uh, 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 we have a we accept one or two places, we have guest houses are there, you can go and stay there, air conditioned guest houses are there, free for all our uh, clients, you can go and stay any number of time you want, if you don't charge a single price, eh? air conditioned two bedroom, uh, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom apartments are there, you maybe you want to go to Covalent, we have Toronto in morning, Calicut, beautiful beach, beach side, we have a property there, Kananur on Payambalim beach, you have a property, go and stay there, only for Skyland clients, huh? that's only for you. So this is what the, the, the facility, we take her off, you know, this, we know that's very, very difficult for you to manage your property back home. 
and i would suggest that it's it's, it's you should really look at uh, investment in uh, uh, real estate in kerala or whatever but kerala means for the, what i'm talking because uh, see you need to spend only 15 20% of your total cost 80% you get a loan in india le ningalku nris ni nris india rajyathu aage loan kittunnathu adum collateral la loan kittunna ore ore product ullu that is housing for everything nammale taravadu poittu ne maari makkale ellarum kondu vekkanam flat right but for this you will get uh, it's, it's, it's a collateral land see you get up to 80% loan you get it we need to pay only 15 20 years time comfortable nothing to worry about because what i'm telling is the, as i said earlier because of the land structure because the construction because the demand is so high the appreciation is too good our product generally appreciate in 4 to 5 years in 100% appreciates sometimes it's 200% in 6 to 7 years so that kind of uh, investment appreciation is happening so you can relax your property and your investment is safe in kerala that's the best thing that can happen yes i said uh, uh, yesterday i was talking about 25 years and what has happened 25 years when i came you know what has happened i i i travel length and breadth of the us everywhere you would name it we, we i've been there so what has happened is uh, yes i came back after 5 years later now i've been working here work 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 1 2 3 4 work that right? today we have a clientele of more than 550 clients from us alone and i have taken you know, how much money almost 500 crores so i spent that and 10 lakh am working 500 crore i'm going to wait and ini adutha 5 years kond i'm going to take another 500 crores because you know that you have you have to invest somewhere you have to invest don't put your money there in bank bank will give 1 2 3 4 percent interest nothing is going to happen come to skyline or come to anybody i would say that in kerala anywhere in the, in the world i would say that you are going to make uh, good money one more thing last two minutes if you don't mind i just wanted to give a small piece of advice to my uh, sister, elder sisters and brothers because who close 60 years 60 years ago i was giving a little and a suggestion and 60 years ago and you you have been at the age of 60 I'm going to retirement stage or getting retirement stage and the suggestion is there you know what you have been working here for some time 20 30 years 20 years 30 years 40 kadinamayi advanichu ningal vardanichu pullare nokki ellum kaiyittu now time for you to retire i would say that is the time you should really enjoy your life what you should do is come home there buy a skyline home and what you should do is there comes once in a year three four months you should come there and do have wonderful time there just 2000 dollars just imagine you can have wonderful life that's what i would say be happy that's what my job is be happy make others happy thank you once again thank you so much